The Starfleet material comes as part of the Blender Sci-Fi Hull Materials Library, linked in the description, and has a variant that allows you to add a window pattern to your object as well. It is designed to produce a similar Aztec pattern to the hull panelling seen on Star Trek Starships, with parameters to control the shininess of the different elements of the panels. This video will show you how to change different aspects of the pattern and how to control where windows are placed. Here is a simple flattened saucer object I've created from scaling a UV sphere and deleting some of the top and bottom faces. I've also added a subdivision surface modifier to smooth out the result and right clicked the object to select shade smooth as well. Going over to the UV editing tab, Blender has already created a good UV map for the tiling which will wrap a square texture pattern onto it. In the shading tab, swap over to the asset browser and select the sci-fi hull materials library. Drag and drop the Starfleet Windows material onto the object. You should see the Starfleet Aztec pattern and the windows at play. In the node editor, go to the Aztec node group where all the pattern's parameters are stored. Firstly, you can disable the windows completely by entering a zero on the input of the windows YN parameter. Let's have a look at the material. You can change the alternating colors of the pattern amongst a range of other options. Set the grid thickness to zero, for instance, to disable the grid effect. You can change the alternating roughness of the pattern as well by changing roughness one or two on the node editor as well as the specular values. You can change the random pattern you get by changing the value of the Aztec seed parameter. Scale this pattern up a notch by changing the XYZ scale parameter of the mapping node. Turn the windows back on by setting the windows YN parameter to 1. Perhaps you'll only want part of your object to have windows on. We can do this by using Blender's Texture Paint feature to paint the windows onto the mesh using a black and white mask. To do this, create a new image texture and call it Windows Mask. This will create a black and white image we can paint to. In the node editor, there is an image texture node waiting for you, so change this to point to the Windows Mask. Hook this node up to the Windows YN input instead of the constant value we had before. All the windows will disappear, but don't panic, we are going to paint them back in. With the image texture node still selected, switch from object mode to texture paint mode in the viewport. Try clicking and dragging your mouse across the mesh and windows will magically appear. This is because we are painting the color white onto the black image mask we created. Super, super cool. But what if we want to make the pattern a bit more uniform and less painterly? Well, switch to the texture paint tab for this one. You'll see the white mask we've just painted on the object, but let's control Z to undo that for now. Instead, we are going to select some faces and use that to paint the mask instead. Switch the object to edit mode and press the square next to it to enter face edit mode. By holding Alt Shift and click on the faces, we can select some edge loops. After, hold Shift down and deselect some faces as well, just for fun. Okay, now go back to the texture paint mode in the drop down box. Select the small cube icon next to the drop down box, which will allow us to paint on only the faces we have selected. The grey areas that appear here are where the mask is. Select the Fill tool on the left of the viewport. Click on one of the black areas and they will all miraculously turn white. Go back to the Shading tab and you'll see the windows are only on the parts of the mesh you had originally selected. Before we go, let's take a closer look at the windows, which have rounded edges that you can control. You can also change the widths and heights as well as how many windows are turned off. In Eevee, 
turn the bloom filter on under the render settings to get a nice glow from the windows. Finally, always remember to light your scene well using an HDRI. Switch to rendered view mode, go to the world drop down in the node editor and hook up an HDRI texture from somewhere like Polyhaven to the background node. I'm using Sprout Sunrise as usual. Add a mix RGB node just after the environment texture node and set color 2 to black. Create a light path node and connect the camera ray output to the FAC input of the mix node. Now you'll have the starting blocks of your very own Starship. If you do have any questions, drop a line to info at configurate.net or comment below. Subscribe for more videos about other textures and add-ons from Configurate. Thanks for listening.